What's up guys? So during this quarantine time, I thought I'd make a fun video. So this is not uh, any kind of teaching, but I want to get the word out of this show. And it has a connection to my memories of how I heard about um, the Greek mythology when I was a little kid. So one of my first exposures outside of learning about Greek mythology at school was a TV show in the 90s called Hercules, The Legendary Journeys. And a lot of And a lot of you people will remember this TV show from the 90s. I think it ran from like 95 to 99. And for those of you that were not born at that time or that don't know about this show, it was a TV show about Hercules that was set in Greece, but it was filmed in New Zealand. And it starred Kevin Sorbo as Hercules. And he would go on adventures and it had nothing to do with Greek mythology other than using Greek gods and goddesses in their stories. And actually in later seasons, in season five and six, that he would actually venture out aside of Greece and run into other gods such as Thor and even Kurdanos. So it did a wide range. So you could tell by the end of the series that they were running out of ideas. But that still doesn't deny or take anything less from what it meant to me because it was a, an exposure of great mythology to me. Looking back on it now, though, it was um, it's a fun show and it's always been cheesy. The special effects have always been really bad, even back then because it was early CG and puppets and it's never been the greatest. So it's fun. But don't go to this looking for any kind of mythology or hoping to get uh, recreations of certain stories, even though they do kind of play on some of the stories of Greek mythology. Like there's an episode about um, the famous story of Cupid and uh, Psyche and how Cupid was turned into a monster and then he eventually is cured. So... That story actually played into an episode of Hercules. They had an episode of Hercules, The Legendary Journeys, when he created, Hercules created the Olympics. So they did have an episode that ties into that. Um, I don't know what date that episode aired, but I'm sure it was probably around the 96 Olympics, because I'm sure it was tying into how the Olympics were actually going on at that time. Uh, but they would use some bits of Greek mythology that we know now, but they didn't try to keep it historically correct. Like they would have uh, characters from Greek mythology that in the same era as Hercules that either lived before or after Hercules. Like he would run into Jason, obviously from Jason and the Argonauts. Even though Hercules was part of that myth, Jason is way older, uh, or maybe the same age, I'm not sure, because in Hercules' The Legendary Journeys, Jason eventually marries Hercules' mom. So, like I said, they go off in their own story, and they have, you, they have a lot of uh, famous Greek myths and characters, but the, the most negative thing I can say about the show is that it uh, doesn't paint the gods in the greatest of lights. Probably the god that, the goddess that actually is the most helpful and the nicest, that helps Hercules the most, is his sister, Aphrodite. She is featured in uh, quite a few episodes, and she is um, very much the goddess of love and beauty, and you'll see a picture of her here. So, um, yeah, so when it comes to Greek gods, it's not the greatest portrayal. The main villain of the, uh, of the series in general is Hera. Hera. This is where a lot of people got the association of Hera being the villain and the main, um, uh, I'm trying to not to use bad words, but the main person that, uh, she gets blamed on, like, even when I started getting into Hellenic polytheism, <laughs> my wife, uh, I saw I was buying a Hera statue and she was like, oh no, not Hera. Cause you still had that 
stereo uh, bed image attached because she was a fan of the show as a kid. So it, when people see Hera, um, they see her as a bad guy, not just because of the myths, but sometimes because of that TV show. And it was a big influence in the 90s. And it spawned Xena, which went on to actually probably be bigger. Again, it was a fun show and had a lot of famous people making cameos, had a lot of great comedic actors, like Bruce Campbell was in it. And the big star, the big villain besides Hera that I have to mention is the actor Kevin Smith, not the director Kevin Smith, but the actor Kevin Smith who played Ares. He did a really good job. And also, uh, one more note on the gods saying that they're the negative, negative portrayal, not just on Hera, but on the image of the gods. The gods were not portrayed in the greatest of lights outside of like Aphrodite, like I mentioned, because you had, I'll show you pictures of Hermes. I'll show you Apollo was on an episode that So that he and he he rode a golden surfboard. It was kind of like the Silver Surfer, but it was a um, golden board. And he went, he didn't play a surfer guy. He wasn't a surfer, but he was a real douchebag. So um, not the greatest of lights. And I still can't get over Hermes and the portrayal and image of Hermes. So, like I said, it's not the greatest, but it still was a fun show. So if you want to check out a fun show that has some Greek mythology and some of the myths in there would know that, like I said, they throw all the history is pretty much thrown out the window. They just say, hey, we got Greek mythology TV shows, so let's bring Jason on this week. Let's bring Cupid in this week. Let's bring Atalanta in another week. And I don't think Achilles ever came into the show, but they had a tick list and so forth. Um, that, like I said, people that didn't exist in the history history of the myths of Hercules, they were just all in there. They threw them all in. They like, let's get them all in. Anyway, guys, I just want to do a fun episode. Uh, tell you guys to check out that show if you can find it. This first season you can find, but when it comes to the actual series, uh, it's usually DVD. Anyway, guys, check it out, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.